Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Vero and in today's tutorial I will do a grey makeup plum if you wanna see how I do it, just keep watching and in this tutorial I will try some new items I bought this month and yeah, <laughs> let's hope it's gonna work good I will try to do it the easiest possible to make sure like this everybody can do it so let's get started the first I'm gonna use is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil I will start with the spoolie on this pencil and I'm gonna brush my brows upwards like this we can see the spaces we have and what we can do to correct this or to give them a right shape And on my lid I will go with the Tarte Shape Tape I will just start blending it and shape my brows And I will start with the transition shade, so I will take from the Juice palette from Juvia's Place this shade right here and I will start with a big fluffy brush like this one After I will go for the Jaclyn Hill palette and I will take the shade Putter if I'm not wrong, it's this one and I will not change the brush, I just clean it a little bit and I will go for this shade I will do the same, I will just start right on the outer corner and I dot that back I'm depositing first and after I start blending After I will go for the shade Central Park, I'm right here And after I go with the first brush and I just blend the edges I blend it upwards I blend Okay, now I will go for even a smaller brush and I will just take the shade black from this palette So, I will go very close to the outer corner of the eye and close to the lashes And after depositing, I will go with this brush and I will just blend And I will just clean half of my mobile lid After cleaning half of my lid with a makeup remover, I will just take once again the Tarte Shape Tape 
And now I can do a properly cut crease, semi cut crease actually. What I'm gonna do now is to take the mini magic from Juvia's place and first of all I will take this shade right here and I'm gonna apply it close to the outer corner to that black shade to make sure this is gonna look good I go right here Actually, I like how it's looking like, but I will just go for some more black. Okay, I will proceed with the gray. It's looking nice, but not enough shiny. So I will take this glitter primer from NYX I will go a tiny amount right here and with a detail brush I will take this from here and go applying it right on my lid I go back to the Deuce palette and I am taking this shade right here and I go right in here I'm doing on small section because I just wanted to make sure I'm gonna have the degradé I want I go now on the other half of the lid and I'm gonna change again the palette I go once again with this one and I will take the shade right here this is it and now I will go on the other side now I will just take this shade right here I just clean my face and now I will go with some lashes like this Well, after applying my lashes I will go with this Eau de Beauté from Caudalie and I will spray it all over my face and next is gonna be the Dior Skin Forever And I'm gonna apply it with the Damned Beauty Blender all over my face And 
the concealer I'm gonna use is gonna be the Pro Longer Concealer from MAC. And I will set everything with Natural Finish Loose Powder from Chanel. And I will take this beauty blender right here and I will start setting my under eye area. And I'm mattifying all my face with this powder. I will go with some mascara on my bottom lashes. And I will just start contouring my face with the Hula bronzer. And I will apply the California blush. And to highlight, I will just take again the palette the juice and this color right here and I will apply it on the inner corner of the eyes too And on my lips, I will use one of those lipsticks from Smashbox. So it's the Always On Liquid Lipstick. And this is how it's looking like. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!